This is Faculty Focus from Fairleigh Dickinson University. In this edition, we focus on William Pat Schuber. He spent decades in public service before joining FDU's faculty. He was county executive in Bergen County, New Jersey, and a member of the New Jersey State Assembly. Among the courses he teaches is the Constitution and Homeland Security. His areas of expertise include the law and leadership. He teaches in the Petroselli College at Fairleigh Dickinson University and also teaches sports law in the university's Master of Sports Administration program. And when we're faced with an emergency situation, there's a rush to judgment in providing for a, a response to that emergency. And sometimes in doing so, we uh, don't take the full care we should in crafting that particular policy. And the Patriot Act may be an example of that. On the one hand, it provides extra powers to uh, law enforcement and the security uh, forces of the country to protect us by giving them tools they didn't have before, particularly in the areas of surveillance, uh, particularly of foreign subjects, and things along those lines that short circuit processes and make things work faster, which in a global society with technological savvy on the part of the terrorists can be the difference between life and death. On the other hand, I think even its most uh, vociferous uh, proponents will argue that they made a mistake in some elements of it. For example, its application, for example, for people's library books in libraries, which had to be amended out later on. So I think there's often in that rush to judgment they, where we meet the exigencies of a, an emergency situation, we often go too far. I do think, however, the Patriot Act has been valuable to the extent it has given some valuable tools in the areas of surveillance, for example, um, of, of, uh, for police officers and law enforcement and security services, the FBI, et cetera, uh, in dealing with potential threats in the future. And I have no doubt that it has saved lives as a result of its application. I think the first thing is a vision. Having a vision for the future that is one that not only the, the president or the leader that we're talking about um, can espouse and communicate properly, and therefore communication becomes a secondary uh, and but, but, but important uh, skill, but also one that the public at large or the majority of the public can embrace and has the ability to define that in terms that people can identify with. Secondly, I think the other important aspect of this has been for that particular leader in establishing that vision is to build consensus, a broad middle of the gra a middle ground where a number of people can embrace the same concept of the future. How many people here complain about the government? A lot of hands go up on that. I said, well, how can you complain about government if you're not prepared to participate in it? It's like the old cliche, if you're not prepared to be part of the solution, you know, get out of the way. And my argument simply is, I, I, maybe I'm an idealist, but I go back to the early stage of the way the Greeks looked at political pol politics and public service, like Plato and Aristotle, where it was the highest virtue. I still think it is, because I think uh, that the purpose of public service should be to advance the, uh, the interest of the public in a, in, a, in a better way than it's been at the present time, or as you've found it. But in today's society, one has to be very, very sensitive to a whole variety of other issues beyond the fundamentals of a particular sport, i.e., uh, diversity on the court, so to speak, or the playing field, the issue with regard to fair treatment, the issue with regard to working with those with disabilities, the understanding of the risks and hazards that might be implicit in a sport that could cause injury that could be prevented, risk assessment we call that. And therefore, sports is much more than just understanding the fundamentals of the game and being a very big fan. It's also being sensitive to the variety of issues that implicate themselves in sports in a modern society. Litigation being one of those big ones. <laughs> 